Hi, today I'm going to do a video about Desmos. And Desmos is a program that you might have heard of from some of our math teachers. Um, our 7th and 8th grade math teachers are using a paid program this year um, on Desmos. It's a pilot program that they, were, they are using. Um, and our 5th and 6th graders, our um, math teachers, are using this program this year, but they're using the free section. Um, and Desmos was created for math. Um, it is created for as a math program. But um, what has happened is there is definitely many benefits to all subjects in this platform. Um, I've used this with teachers um, to help with some off-task behavior um, because what's really cool about Desmos is you get to see what students are doing in live time. Um, you can see, and then I'll show you what screen students are on, what students are doing, and you can pace students. Um, so I'm going to do a quick introduction of what Desmos looks like and kind of what you can do. Um, I'm even going to try to do some, um, show you how to make a custom activity yourself. Um, and then if you have questions at the end and you're interested in this and you want to use it in your classrooms, please reach out and I can support you with that. Um, so this is the first screen. I'm on a student screen and they see that they have to agree or disagree with I like using Desmos. So as I said, our math teachers seem to really like this this year. So I'm going to put agree and I can say um, I love how I can see what um, slide students are on in real time. And then I'm going to submit this. And then I, on my teacher screen, I can see that there's one student on slide one um, and they put agree. And I can see their statement that they put right here. And again, you can see all of this for all your students while you are working. Now, as a teacher, I might want to paste them now to slide two and three. I'm going to paste them there. And as you saw, when I went into the tab, it just pushed me over to slide two. So as a student, it forces me into where my teacher wants me. And you can see, I can also do multiple choice questions. So maybe I'm gonna write this as my answer. And um, you can see this is a picture, but I can draw on the picture if I wanted to do stuff on there to support my thinking. And then I have an explain your thinking. Why do I think this? I think this because, and then whatever the student puts and submits it. And on the teacher dashboard, again, I can see that the student's on that slide. I can see the student put um, Ashleen, but then I know that is an incorrect answer. I can see the explanation, and I can also see what they did on that picture um, on the side. Um, then I'm going to go to slide two, and look, I can't go to the next slide because, again, my teacher pays me only to slide three. I can do a select all, so you can select the different answers here. And again, I can see that on my dashboard and I'm going to unpaste them and I'm going to show you the rest of the types of questions. I have a question where they can just type in their answers as you already saw. There's questions where you can again, have them write, write this in decimal form, but again, they can write in the picture. I actually have two pictures here. Um, you, again, writing on the picture. There's matching activities. So there's a bunch of stuff that you can definitely do in Desmos. And all you have to do is you're going to, want to go to teachers.desmos.com. And when you get there, you're going to sign in with your um, Google account for school. Um, and what you can do is you just go to your activities custom and you make a new activity. I'm going to say test activity. And what you can see here is there's different components that you can add um, to make your Desmos activity. So if I wanted to do a multiple choice question, I would press note and then I would press multiple choice. So this is where I would write the question. And this is where I would put the answers. And then if I wanted to put the right answer, I'd just click on it. And then if I want to add new slides, Again, um, if I want to do something that is um, an ordered list, I can do math. A note, an ordered list right here. I can also make a sketch tool, change the background. So there's many things you can do on Desmos that, again, it is made for the math classroom, but you can definitely see this being used in any subject. Um, if this is something that you are interested in, and think that it could support you um, in this new remote environment or even when we go hybrid, um, please let me know and I'm here to support and I can help you um, build that activity um, using Desmos. So hopefully this is something that is helpful to you. Um, and again, let me know if anyone has any questions. Have a great day.